Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Slow Flow. My name is Elspeth. Um, hope glad you're able to join me on a beautiful Monday night. Hopefully, you were able to enjoy some sunshine. Um, as always, I'm really excited to be here to do some free flow with you guys every Monday night at six through I Am Yoga Toronto. Um, and every week, I'm choosing a different organization for people to reach out to if you're interested. Hi, Barbara. Um, hey, Bus. And uh, my friend Bus here, um, let me know about this organization uh, if you're interested. And it's up on my blog at Elspeth Yoga um, on Instagram. It's um, the Princess Margaret Foundation. I finally realized that you have to spell things backwards. <laughs> so the Princess Margaret Foundation um, has a fund specifically for COVID-19. Um, any funds that they're raising um, go towards supporting vulnerable patients, supporting frontline workers, and for uh, COVID-19 clinical trials. So if you're interested, that's the link, um, and it's up on my Instagram at Elspeth Yoga if you're interested. Um, but no need to worry about that right now. Uh, for now, just get set up on your mats. If you have blocks or books or pots as usual for any supports you might want, grab those. Otherwise, just go ahead and lay down on your back, extend yourself to all four corners of your space. Uh, we're gonna send ourselves lots of love tonight. We're gonna try and move slowly. So be really aware of your breath and uh, there'll be lots of options at any point. If you need to take a break, go for it. Just lay down on your back or take child's pose. Um, and if there's any questions, I'm, I'm gonna try and keep track uh, through the class. Otherwise, just feel free to hit me up after class. Okay, so let's get started on our mats. If you have any music that you wanna play, I like to do a silent practice. Um, but if you have a music playlist that you wanna throw on, go for it. Um, I just like to listen to my own breath and hypothetically think that I'm imagining listening to all of your communal breaths. So that's why I like the silent practice. If you want a suggestion for a playlist on Spotify, I really like um, hanging out and relaxing. Um, but otherwise, anything else that uh, that tickles your fancy. So um, go ahead and get set up on your mat or your floor, whatever you've got going on. Just laying on your back, extending out to all four corners of your space, letting the arms come away from the body. There's no need to worry about what's going on on the screen right now. We're just laying down, maybe closing the eyes. If you'd like to really tune into the space, maybe place one hand on the belly, the other hand on the heart. If you haven't already, and if, if it's comfortable, closing the eyes, gently closing the mouth, and just start to breathe in and out of the nose. Listening to the heart rate, the sound of your breath as it passes in and out of the nose. Feeling the physical rise and fall of not just the belly and the heart, but the entire body as it expands, gets lighter with every inhale, softens, melts into the floor, gets heavier with every exhale. Maybe seeing if you can lengthen out your exhale to an extra count, of maybe four or five. Just realizing whether or not you've really taken a mindful, deep breath today. Let's take three more breaths here together as a community. Inhaling for three, two, one, hold. Exhale for four, three, two, one, hold. Inhale for three, two, one, hold. Exhale for four, three, two, one, hold. Inhale for three, two, one, hold. Exhale for four, Three, two, one, let it all go. Keep the breath going at your own pace now. Maybe trying to be aware of lengthening those exhales a bit more than the inhales. 
Start to wiggle into the fingers and toes, rolling the wrists and ankles. Gently nodding the head side to side. And then when you're ready, just gently zip the toes together, reach the arms back, take a nice long body stretch. On the exhale, just soften everything, the elbows and the knees. One more, take a nice long inhale to stretch. And on the exhale, hug the knees into chest, grab a hold of the shins. Take a nice little squeeze here, hugging yourself in, maybe rocking side to side if your low back has been pinching at all today. It's feeling a little stiff, otherwise just holding through center. With the next inhale, let's grab a hold of the right shin and extend the left leg long. If this is uncomfortable at any point, you can also bend that left knee, plant the foot on the floor. Otherwise, let's hug the right shin in a little bit closer towards the belly. And then on the inhale, you're gonna open the right arm out beside you. Exhale, cross body twist. Pull that right knee across. It doesn't have to go all the way. You can just go a few inches, maybe using that left hand to support. If you have any blocks or some books here, you can place it under that right knee as well. Think more about anchoring down through that right shoulder, maybe gazing over towards the right hand. With every exhale, lengthen it out a bit more, maybe deepening into that twist. One more breath here. And then inhale, come onto your back. Slowly extend that right foot up towards the ceiling, grabbing behind maybe the thigh or the calf. Again, you can plant that other foot on the floor. And then let's start to activate through the back of the right leg. Flex the ankle, point the toes towards the face. And then see if you can straighten that leg a little bit more. Keep the shoulders anchored down. From here, we're gonna take every breath as we're gonna point and flex that top right ankle. So on the inhale, think about pointing the toe, maybe get the leg a little bit straighter. On the exhale, flex through the ankle, see if you can draw that leg in a little bit closer. Inhale, point the toe, maybe get the leg a little bit straighter, maybe it draws away from you, that's okay. Exhale, flex the ankle, maybe draw it one inch closer. Last breath here, inhale, point as much as you can. Exhale, flex and draw that leg in as close as you can. And then slowly release the right foot down and bring the left knee into chest, switching legs here. A few breaths just to squeeze that shin in a little bit closer. Feel the spine getting a little bit longer into your space. And then inhale, open the left arm out beside you. Exhale, cross body twist, drag that left knee across. Again, if it's just going a bit, that's fine. Maybe grab some uh, blocks or supports underneath the knee. Otherwise, just using the right hand to hold it there. Anchoring down through the left shoulder this time, maybe gazing over that left hand. Take an inhale to lengthen a little bit more. Exhale, maybe twist the spine a bit more. Inhale, come back through center, straighten through that left leg. Again, grabbing behind the thigh or the calf, maybe planting that other foot on the floor. Both sides can be different. Maybe this side feels a little bit tighter behind the hamstring. Let's flex into that ankle, point the toes towards the face. Just starting to feel into the back of the leg to start rooting down through that femur, that long bone that connects the hip to the knee. Feel it pulling down into the earth. The whole back is flat down on the ground. All right, let's start to move the ankle with the breath. On the inhale, point the toes. See if you can get that leg a little bit straighter. Exhale, flex the ankle and draw the leg any amount towards the face. Inhale, point the toes, get that leg a little bit straighter. Exhale, flex the ankle, pull the leg in. Inhale, point the toe, last one here. My leg is shaking. Exhale, flex the ankle, draw it any amount towards the face. And then let's bend both knees, hug the knees into chest, grab your hands behind the thighs and start to rock forward and back, massaging out every vertebra as many times as you need to. 
And eventually let's come to balance on the sits bones, finding that Navasana pose. So toes can be down on the floor. You're balancing right on the sits bones there. Maybe floating the toes out in front. Maybe using the hands for support or reaching them out in front. Let the shoulders pull down the back. Lift the heart forward. If you want, maybe extending the feet straight out. Maybe pointing the toes. Maybe you want to flex them. Maybe flexing them with bent knees. If you're shaking, that's great. If you're not, maybe release the heart back an inch. Maybe lift the heart a little bit closer towards the legs. Let's breathe here for another two. Last inhale here. Exhale, half bow pose. Extend those feet straight out. Release the heart just to hover. Keep the fingertips reaching forward. Added challenge if you want to reach those hands back. Breathing here. Embrace the shake for another two. Last one. Inhale, draw yourself all the way back up into that bow pose. Let's cross the ankles and come forward into a tabletop position on the hands and knees. Spreading those fingers nice and wide, wrists under shoulders, knees underneath hips. Starting with our cat cows here on the inhale, drop the belly, gaze forward and up, relax the shoulders. Exhale, round through the spine, pull the belly button in, gaze between the knees. Inhale, drop the belly, gaze forward and up. Keep that breath nice and long. Exhale, round through the spine, pull that belly button in. One more time. Inhale, drop the belly, gaze forward and up. Exhale, round through the spine. From here, come back through a flat tabletop. You're going to point, or sorry, flex under, curl under the right toes and then step the right foot as far back as you can. So kind of like a half plank here. From there, we're gonna just rock forward and back on those back toes. So getting a bit into the calf muscle there, stretching it out, and also strengthening between the hands. So you're pressing the floor away from you the whole time. Pull the shoulders back towards the hips. On the inhale, come as far forward as you can on those back toes. Reach the shoulders forward past the fingers. Exhale, rock back, just pressing that right heel as far back as you can. Inhale, rock forward all the way onto the tippy toes. Exhale to rock back. See if you can move a little bit slower. Last one here. Inhale to rock forward onto the tippy toes. Exhale, rock back, press the heel back as far as you can. And then bring the knee back to meet the right. All right, from there, let's step, let's curl the left toes under and step the left foot back. Same thing here, press firmly through both hands. They haven't moved at all, spread those fingers wide. Pull shoulders back, pull the belly in. On the inhale, come as far forward as you can, still pressing down through the entire surface of the hands. Exhale, press back through that left heel. Two more, inhale, slowly come as far forward as you can. This is lots of work for the arms. Exhale, press back, stretching that calf. One more, inhale, rock as far forward as you can. Exhale, slowly pressing back. Nice, then bring the knees back together. This time you're gonna tuck both toes under and we're gonna just do a gentle uh, bottom of the foot stretch. So you're gonna walk your hands towards the knees and we're just gonna sit on the heels. Now this can be really intense, maybe reach back, untuck the pinky toes, they tend to get crunched under there. Rest the hands on the lap, palms facing down or up. Sit up nice and tall, relax the shoulders down the back. If you haven't already started to feel it, see if you can find a bit more lift in the belly and then sink the hips a bit further into those heels. Breathing here for another three. At any point, you can release the stretch. Otherwise, maybe close the eyes. See if you can just breathe through that sensation. Last two. Last one. Awesome, let's bring the hands gently out in front. Release the toes, maybe tap the tops of the feet onto the floor, letting that go. And then let's re-tuck the toes here. 
Take an inhale to lift the knees to hover. On the exhale, send those hips up and back, downward facing dog. Maybe your first downward dog of the day. Let's wiggle that tailbone up and back. Maybe soft bend in the knees, draw the belly towards the upper thighs. See if you can roll the shoulders out and away from the ears. Find the eye of the elbows, the inside of the elbow crease, and see if you can roll those to face forward. That allows the shoulders to roll out and away from the ears a little bit more. Maybe pedal out the feet here. We've got two more breaths. Really settle into this space. Last one. Maybe let the exhale go on a sigh. Open the mouth. Moving just with the feet right now. On the inhale, come nice and high onto the toes. See if you can hide the heels behind your feet. Exhale, how slowly can you release those heels all the way back down to that count of three or four. Exhale. Nice. Two more. Inhale, lift those heels up nice and high. See if you can lift that tailbone. Exhale, slowly sink those heels down. Last one. Inhale, lift those heels up nice and high. Keep the shoulders rolling away from the ears. Exhale, slowly lower the heels down. Awesome. This time, inhale, lift the heels high. Let's come forward into your high plank. Shoulders maybe just past the wrists here. Keep pressing down through the floor. Let's take one more inhale to press the floor away. And exhale, let's drop the knees, relax the tops of the toes. Slowly lower down to the belly. Don't let the belly touch down first. Try and let the heart and the belly and the chin all come down at the same time. Nice. Hands underneath shoulders. Let's take three baby cobras here. Inhale, roll the shoulders up and back. Peel the heart forward. Squeeze elbows in. Exhale, lower back down. Again, inhale, peel the heart off the floor. Squeeze those elbows and shoulders back. Exhale, lower down. If you're not feeling it, squeeze, lift your belly off a little bit more of the floor. One more, inhale, roll shoulders up and back. Exhale, lower all the way back down. From here, let's tuck the toes under. Option to press up to your high plank or just come back through tabletop. Lift the knees and find downward facing dog. Nice, so that's our first few variations of the flow that you can take. Let's do one flow all together. I'll do a modified version. If there's another version you like to take, full chaturanga, full upward facing, go for it. Let's all come forward on our inhale to your high plank, shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, slowly lower down. Find that count of three or four. On the inhale, lift the heart. Either find your baby cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, press back either through tabletop or plank to downward facing dog. Let's take a full breath in together. Full breath out. Let's come high on the toes, bend the knees, look toward the hands, either take a few steps or take a quiet cat hop forward. From there, bring the big toes together, heels slightly apart, hands come to your shins, to the floor, to the thighs, find a halfway lift. Let's hold here for one more breath in, lift the heart, exhale, forward fold over the legs, soft bend in the knees if you need it. Slowly root to rise, reach the arms all the way up, circle, sweep them to the sky. Hands through heart center, exhale. And then let's bring the hands beside you, equal stance. Spread the feet, hip width apart. Roll the shoulders down the back. If you'd like, close the eyes here. Three breaths. Setting your intention. What is it that motivates you to move against your mat? Can you take the opportunity, the time, to move a bit more slowly to feel into your body? Let's take one more breath here. Blinking the eyes open if they're closed or you can keep them closed at any point. So let's wiggle the big toes together, heels slightly apart. Three continuous sun salutations. Inhale, reaching the arms up, palms to touch. Exhale, hinge from the hips, forward fold through heart center, or you can swan dive the arms. Inhale, lift halfway, find that flat back, pull the heart in. 
Exhale, plant the hands, step or hop back to your plank, your choice to lower through your flow. Again, I'm doing modified versions tonight. Lifting the heart, rolling shoulders back, slowing your exhales to get to downward facing dog. Let's take one breath in there, one breath out. From downward dog, bend the knees, come high on the toes, look forward, step or hop to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale to flat back. Exhale, fold over the legs. Don't rush those forward folds, slow it down. Circle sweep the arms up towards the sky. Inhale, fill the lungs. Exhale, forward fold right away. Halfway lift, flat back, inhale. Exhale to flow, plant those hands, your choice to lower down, either chaturanga halfway or all the way to the belly. Find your upward facing or baby cobra. Exhaling to downward facing dog. Full breath in, slow exhale out. Bend the knees, lift the heels, step hop or float to the front of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Circle, sweep arms to sky. Inhale, look up. Last one here, exhale, forward fold. Slow and controlled. Maybe close the eyes for this last one. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale to flow. Moving through mindfully and with intention. Take one full breath in downward dog. Full slow exhale out. Let's bend the knees, lift the heels, step hop or float to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale forward fold. Root to rise, reach up, look up, palms to touch. Hands through heart center, and then release the hands beside you. Equal stance, mountain pose. Separate the feet again, hip width apart. I'm just facing you guys, but you should be facing the front of your mat. Let's take a nice roll of the shoulders up towards the ears. Inhale, exhale, release them down. We're gonna focus a bit today on ankle stability. So we're gonna start right here, just noticing the weight of the body over the feet. Maybe you feel it a bit more in the heels. Maybe you can just kind of rock yourself back and forward, lifting the toes, lifting the heels, and then see if you can plant down through all four corners of the feet. Feel the inner arches of the feet, like there's a pencil on the inside of your feet that you're trying to press down. And then see if you can press through evenly inner and outer arches of the feet. Start to lift the kneecaps up towards the hips. And then this is where we're going to add a bit of that balance. Just have fun with it. If you come out of it, that's great. Just take a breath, reset, and come back in. Let's start by floating the arms out in front. This helps a bit with the balance. I find palms facing down, or at any point you can release hands to the hips. With the hands out in front, though, it's relaxing through the shoulders down the back. Let's inhale, come up any amount onto those toes. Now feeling all 10 toes pressing into the ground. How slowly can you exhale, lower the heels down? Let's see if we can do it a little bit slower. Notice if you're rolling in or out onto the feet. I tend to roll out onto my feet, so I'm working on pressing to the inner arches. Inhale, lift up as high as you can. How slowly, exhale, count it out. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful, working in threes. Last one here. Inhale, lift up nice and high. Tuck those heels behind you. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Land, release the hands beside you. From here, you're gonna draw your weight down into the right foot, bend the left knee up to hip height, grab for that shin. If you'd like, you can also bring hands to hips or float the arms up towards the sky. That'll add a bit more work into that, uh, the quadricep, the front of your leg. 
Otherwise, here is adding a bit more support for balance. Notice if that standing foot is shaking on the inner or outer arches, the front or back of the foot. See if you can plant down, press down into the floor. From here, let's take an inhale to lift up nice and tall through the heart. On the exhale, start to round through the spine like you're doing an angry cat and rock yourself down into that knee. A little bit of shaking through that standing leg, soft bend in the knee to support. Again, inhale, lift the heart, flatten through the back. Exhale, round through the spine. One more, inhale to lift. Exhale to round. I'm really feeling this in the standing leg. Hopefully you are too. Let's take one more inhale to lift. This time we're gonna extend that foot out in front. Maybe reach the arms up towards the ceiling. On the exhale, pendulum swing the left foot back behind you, tipping the heart forward, finding your warrior three. Balancing on that standing leg. Point the left toes towards the floor, square the hips towards the ground. See if you can lift the back leg up one more inch. Keep the heart higher than the hips. You should feel the squeezing in the back here. Take one more inhale. On the exhale, step that left foot as far back as you can, landing as lightly as you can, finding your high lunge. Relax the shoulders down the back. Settle into that space, two more breaths. Last one. From here, you're going to step that left foot in a bit, plant it down at 45 degree angle, so pressing the whole foot down, finding a warrior lunge. So hips square to the front of your mat, pressing down through that front heel. From here, we can play around with that balance, that ankle stability. On the inhale, maybe lifting that right heel up, Exhale, how slowly can you lower it down? Really feeling it. The more you bend into that front knee, the more you're gonna feel it in the quad. Inhale, maybe lifting that heel or just staying in that warrior lunge. Exhale, slowly lower the heel down. One more, inhale to lift. Exhale, slowly lower it down. Let's inhale, interlace the fingers behind the back, right thumb on top of left, or sorry, left thumb on top of right. Inhale to lift the heart up. Exhale, humble warrior, folding forward, lifting the arms any amount up and overhead or keep them reaching back. Crown of the head can be reaching long or round through the spine and just submerge into that shape. Pull that right hip point back behind you. Maybe squeeze the palms of the hands together for another two. Last one. Use the next inhale, pull the fist back, rise up through the heart, release the arms up towards the sky, finding that warrior one. From here, you're gonna bring the right hand to the right hip, straighten through that right knee. Now notice if your hips start to shift, keep pulling that right hip point back behind you so you're square to the front of your mat. Take an inhale to lift up through the left arm. Exhale, hinge from the hips to find that pyramid fold. You can stay parallel to the floor here. If you want to play around with a twist, you can reach that right arm back behind you. Maybe start to twist the heart towards the right side of your shape space. Or maybe bring that left hand down to the floor and reach the right arm up. Now notice if you're doing the twist here, that again, the tendency is to shift the hips, so keep pulling that right hip point back behind you. You can also just stay right here, parallel to the floor, pressing down through both feet. Let's take one more breath in. Slow exhale for four, three, two, one. If you're twisted, come back to face the front. Let's bend that right knee and rise both hands up, warrior one. On the exhale, plant the hands. Step back to your plank, find a flow on your exhale. If you're not feeling the flow right now, just meet back in downward facing dog. Let's take a deep breath in together. Maybe open the mouth, sigh out. Beautiful. 
Lift the heels nice and high, bend the knees, look forward, step, hop or float to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Root to rise, reach the arms up, look up, palms to touch. Exhale, hands through heart center, and release the hands beside you. All right, coming on to the next set of balancing, let's separate the feet again, hip width apart. Give the shoulders a nice roll up on the inhale. Exhale, roll them down the back. All right, let's bring the hands back out in front. We're going to find that lift again up onto the toes. This time, though, we're going to add a knee bend. So we're kind of doing a half squat, but the heels are going to be nice and lifted. Again, if you fall out of it, take a breath, reset, laugh it off. Let's come back into it. All right, so shoulders are melting down the back. Let's take an inhale to lift up high onto the heels. Exhale, see how much you can bend the knees. Keep those heels lifted, squeeze into your bum. Inhale, slowly lift all the way back up. Exhale, release the heels down for three, two, and one. Take a breath in, let's lift all the way back up. Exhale, bend the knees any amount for three, two, one. Inhale, press all the way straight. Exhale, slowly lower the heels. Three, two, one. Last one here. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend the knees. Three, two, one. Inhale, press up. Exhale, lower the heels. Three, two, and one. Nice. Shake out the arms. Let that go. Maybe shake out the feet. Let's come into balance on the other side. So drawing your weight now into the left foot. Draw that right knee up to hip height. Holding onto the shin or again add a challenge. Hands on the hips or reaching up towards the sky. Using that uh, right quad to support and build strength. I'm just going to hold on to that shin. There's nothing wrong with that. Still finding balance and lift through the belly. Sitting up nice and tall, lift the heart forward, inhale, exhale, option to round through the spine like a cat drawing your forehead towards that right knee, inhale, lift the heart, exhale to bend, or round, last one, inhale, lift the heart, nice and flat through the spine, exhale, fold. This time, let's inhale to lift, release the arms up towards the sky, extend the right foot out in front, exhale, pendulum swing that right foot back behind you, reaching the fingertips forward, warrior three. Again, point the right toes towards the ground, the hip points towards the ground. See if you can lift through that heel, keep the heart higher than the hips. Pressing down through that standing leg, one more breath in. Slow exhale as you step the right toes back, finding your high lunge. Two full breaths, sink into that shape. Relax the shoulders, unclench the teeth. Notice if you're scrunching your face, find softness. From here, let's step that right foot in a bit, planting it down at 45 degrees, finding your warrior one. From here, we're going to work through that front heel, that front calf, to find a bit of strength. On the inhale, lifting up through that heel, coming up high on the toes. Again, the more you bend into that knee, the more you'll feel the work. Exhale, slowly lower it down. Again, inhale, lift the heel up nice and high. Exhale, slowly bend. Keep pressing into the pinky edge of your other foot as well. One more, inhale, lift that heel up nice and high. Exhale, slowly lower it back down. Beautiful work. Let's interlace the fingers behind the back. Opposite grip you did the first time, so the one that feels a bit goofier. For me, that's right thumb on top of left. Inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale, humble warrior, folding forward. 
Fists come up and overhead, any amount. Again, you can keep this active, keeping the crown of the head reaching forward, pulling the fist back behind you, or you can round through the spine, fully surrender, lifting the fist up and overhead, any amount. Two more breaths here. Keep pulling that left hip point back behind you. Last full breath. And then slowly inhale, pull the fist back. Reach the arms up, finding warrior one. And then let's bring the left hand to the left hip. You can use that hand to really pull the hip point back, anchor through there. Straighten through that left leg. Take an inhale to lift through the heart. Exhale, hinge from the hips, folding into pyramid. Again, you can stay here parallel to the floor. If you want to just fully fold forward into pyramid, you can. If you want to start to find a twist, you can do that with the right hand reaching forward, twisting open, maybe reaching back. Or you can find right hand to the floor, left hand reaching up. All great options. They all can feel really uncomfortable and weird, and that's great. Breathing into it, find two more breaths. Slow down your exhale. Last one. If you're twisted facing back forward, let's bend that left knee, rise up through the hands, finding warrior one. Really feeling this through the legs. I hope everybody else is too. Take an inhale here. Exhale, plant the hands down. Step back to your plank, finding your flow. Or skipping it all, meet us back in downward facing dog. Let's all take one full breath in, full breath out. Let's bring the knees to the floor, hips to heels, open the knees wide, toes together, child's pose. Releasing the heart to the floor. Again, if this is tight for the hips, you can come onto the elbows and find a supported child's pose there. Otherwise, just release the heart down. Take two more breaths here. Slowly rock yourself back forward over the wrist to child or tabletop, knees underneath the hips. Let's tuck the toes under, find downward facing dog. Okay, we're coming towards the end. We got one more standing sequence and then it's all on the floor. Let's inhale, kick the right foot up and back. Exhale, bring knee to nose, quietly step between the hands and then plant the left heel Heart will the arms open, warrior two. From here, sink down one more inch into that front knee. Make sure you can still see the big toes in front of you. If not, step a little bit wider. From there, we're gonna work on that calf strength. So option to stay right here, both feet planted firmly into the floor. Or with the next inhale, lift up that front heel. Nice. Exhale, how slowly can you lower it back down? Nothing else is moving, just that foot. Inhale, lift the left, right heel up. Exhale, slowly lower it back down. One more, inhale to lift. Exhale, lower it back down. Dancing the warrior, flip the right palm up. Inhale, reverse. Reaching the right fingertips up, maybe back, light down the back leg. Keep that front knee nice and soft. And then open the arms back, warrior two. Inhale to reach forward. Exhale, extended side angle, right forearm to right thigh. Left hand reaches on the diagonal. You can stay here or you can bring that right hand to the floor to maybe your books or your block. Maybe gazing up underneath that left arm. One more breath in. Can you sink and reach a little bit longer? Exhale, open the arms, warrior two. Take an inhale here, bring hands to hips. Exhale, turn and pivot the toes to face the side of your mat. From here, squeeze the elbows back behind you. Inhale to lift the heart, option to interlace the fingers. And wherever you are, exhale, flat back, forward fold, wide legs. So the hands can stay on the hips. They can be interlaced behind the back. 
or you can bring the hands down to the floor, grab opposite elbows. So many choices with forward fold. Notice the weight in the feet. See if your hips are leaning back a bit. You're going to feel the weight in the heels. See if your hands are touching the floor or a block. Maybe walk them out a bit to bring your hips in line with the heels. You'll feel a little bit more weight over the front of the feet. From there, just think about walking the hands back and folding a little bit more. Take one more breath in. One more breath out. And then from there, walk your hands over to the right foot, turn and pivot to face the front of your mat, coming onto a lunge. Inhale, step back to your high plank. Exhale, find your flow. We've got two more flows here. So if you're taking them, really extend that breath, make it count. Meeting back in downward facing dog, one breath in, one breath out. Other side, inhale, kick left foot up and back. Exhale, knee to nose, quietly step between the hands. Planting down through the right heel, cartwheel the arms open, warrior two. Again, settle into that shape. See, check if you can see the big toe in front of you. If not, maybe slide your foot forward. Press down through the pinky edge of your uh, right foot. Stay here in your warrior two, extending long. Or if you're working on that calf support, let's inhale, lift that front heel off the floor. Exhale, lower it down. Two more, inhale, lift that heel. Maybe sink into that knee, exhale, lower it down. Nothing else is moving. One more breath in, lift that heel up nice and high. Exhale, lower it down. Let's dance the warrior, flip the left palm up, inhale, reverse. Reaching up another inch, light down the back leg. And then open the arms back out, warrior two. Inhale to reach as far forward as you can. Exhale, extended side angle, reaching the right arm straight on the diagonal. Left arm either on that thigh supporting you or maybe down on the floor today, depending on how your hips are feeling, how the legs are feeling. Maybe gazing up underneath that right arm. Take one more breath in. Exhale, open the arms, warrior two. Take one more inhale here. Hands to hips, turn and pivot to face the other side of your mat. I'm just going to turn so I'm facing everybody. Let's turn the toes out to a 45 degree angle. My pièce de résistance of the, of the yoga class for our heel or ankle support. From here, let's take an inhale, reach the arms up, palms to touch. Squeeze into the bum and on the exhale, open the knees wide, bend into those knees and find that wide saddle pose. Open the elbows nice and wide, spread the fingers. We can stay right here. Think about opening the knees towards the baby toes. Maybe sinking the hips a little bit lower. If you want, let's move with our breath. Inhale, lift the right heel. Exhale, slowly lower it back down. Really working into those glutes. Inhale, lift the left heel. Exhale, slowly lower it down. Option now, both heels off the ground. Nothing else is moving. Keeping those hips nice and low. Knees opening wide. Breathe in for two. Exhale. Last one. Embrace the shake. If the heels are lifted, slowly lower them back down. Let's all straighten the legs, reach up, inhale. Exhale, turn and pivot to face the front of your mat. Forward fold, hands to the floor. Last flow here, inhale, high plank. Exhale, find your flow. No rush. Find your slowest exhale to downward facing dog. Beautiful work. From here, let's lift the heels, bend the knees, look forward, step hop or float onto your seat. Extending the feet out in front. Flex the toes up towards the ceiling, sitting up nice and tall. 
Hands can be beside you for added support beside the hips. If you want to work the arms a bit more, arms can be reaching overhead. We're just going to find a nice tall staff pose. Inhale to lift the heels off the floor. Press the backs of the legs into the ground. Exhale, point the toes. Inhale, lift the heels, flex through the ankles. Exhale, point. One more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, point. This time, inhale, lift through the heels. You're going to take the right ankle, cross it over the left thigh, finding a number four shape with your legs. If you're not quite feeling this through that outer right hip, bend the left knee as well. Stack the knees onto the shins on top of each other. Make sure you have the ankles flexed. From there, you can sit up nice and tall, or you can start to fold forward. And you can do this with that front leg extended as well in the number four shape. See if you can crawl the fingertips forward another inch. Keep the spine nice and long. If you're right here sitting up a little bit taller, that's totally fine. Breathe where you are. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It just matters how it feels in your body. Take one more breath here. Slow the exhale to a count of three, two, one. And then slowly rise back up if you're folded forward. And then extend both feet out. Give the legs a little bit of a wiggle or a shake. And then flex both feet up towards the ceiling, crossing the opposite foot, the right, or sorry, the left foot over the right thigh. Again, keep that ankle nice and flexed, sitting up nice and tall. If you're not quite feeling this through the outer hip, bend both knees, stack them on top of each other. If, if um, lotus is part of your practice, you can go for that as well. Make sure both ankles are flexed. Let's sit up nice and tall or start to walk the hands out in front. Unclench the jaws, especially in these hip opening forward folds. We feel like we're stuck in this space. Maybe flip the palms up towards the ceiling. Close the eyes. Slow down the exhale. Last breath in. Exhale for three, two, one. If you're folded, let's come back up to seated. Gently release the legs out again. Give them a wiggle or a shake. Flex the toes up towards the ceiling. Reach the hands forward. Take an inhale to sit up a little bit taller. Exhale slowly around through the spine, rolling onto your back for three. Two, keep the heels down, last one, and release the shoulders down. Let's hug the knees into the chest, give yourself a bit of a squeeze here. Last five breaths, if you'd like, maybe extending the feet up towards the ceiling. If you want to find an inversion, a shoulder stand, go for it. If you want to find a bridge, planting the feet on the floor, maybe lifting the hips. Catch yourself down wherever you want to be. Maybe that's just on your back in a ball for another three. For two. Last breath, slowly making your way onto your back, hugging the knees into chest. Let's wrap the hands a little bit more tightly around the shins. Draw nose towards knees, close the eyes, clench the teeth, squeeze the toes together, compress everything, all your work that you've just done into the tightest ball you can think of. On the exhale, open your mouth, sigh it out, extend to the corners of your space, final rest, final Shavasana. Flip the palms up towards the ceiling, tuck those shoulder blades underneath you. You can give yourself these last two minutes. I'm staying here with you. It's so important to find rest. That opportunity for your body to reset. Just being completely aware of your own breath in your body. Relax the jaw, 
the biting surfaces of your teeth. Let the eyes get heavy to the back of your head. Relaxing the backs of the shoulders into the ground. The backs of the arms, the backs of the hands. The hips get heavier into your space. The calves relax. And the toes roll out to the corners of your space. Feeling a bit of a glow over the body. All that energy you've just cultivated for yourself. Taking the time for gratitude. Gratitude to our body for helping us through times like these. Gratitude to our mind also for helping us through times like these. Gratitude to ourselves for giving back to our body and mind. And gratitude to each other for sharing this energy, this time together, being able to connect. You can stay and rest or slowly start to wiggle into the fingers and toes, rolling the wrists and ankles, and you gently nodding the head side to side. If you like taking another long body stretch, reaching the arms back, zipping the toes together, maybe keeping the eyes closed. Bending into the knees, rolling over onto your favorite side, using the bottom arm as a pillow, coming into a fetal shape. Holding onto your breath. Don't worry about what anything else you have to do after this. Take your last three to five breaths to slowly make your way back up to seated if you'd like. Once you get there, bringing the hands to heart center into prayer. Again, let's hold on to that energy. Share it with anyone and anything. Or just use that to refuel yourself into the rest of your evening, the rest of your week. Take one more breath in together through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out. Thank you all so much for sharing your time with me for joining me on this practice. Uh, the recording will be live for 12, 24 hours. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your evenings. Namaste. Thanks, Courtney. Thanks, everyone.